Uh, joined by uh, manager Lee Donoughy uh, after today's 1-0 win. Hard fought. Yeah, I think it was. <clears throat> um, like I've speak to you a few times, I know it weren't going to be easy, but the focus was definitely on us today and how, and how we applied ourselves. <clears throat> what you're seeing there today, whoever was at the game, was what we've worked on in training. Um, in, in terms of the shape and, <laughs> and uh, what we do when we're out of possession, <clears throat> what we do when we're in possession, and I think we had a few. We, no, I, I, think, I think we edged it in terms of clear cut chances, even though it was a nip and tuck game. But as I say, that the, the final winning that one, get, winning, getting a win, winning one nil, and just like how we the fight that was in us and the shape what we got into when we were out of possession, that was just down to them in there, absolutely grafting in training for, 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 the, for the time we get for the last two weeks really. You needed that today. Yeah, I think so. I think as a manager, you, you need you, you need you need you need every result you can get, especially wins. Um, but I think overall, when when we have lost, or when I think we've been unlucky, and like Hugo's chance there that he missed in the first half, if that's against us, someone else they, they score that, and that's how the luck's been going really. Um, but you know, we got in at half time and just said, look, stay disciplined, stick to the game plan, which we have been doing over recent time. And again, we're learning together, the group staying as we are. Um, you know, but Barlow for it. You know, that was his best game for us. I thought with Barlow, and you know, lads are starting to feel more relaxed in the team now, and and, and are able to express themselves. And, and you know, you're seeing kids becoming men. Look at Owen Collins as well. Do you know what I mean? He's been outstanding for us with Barlow. I have to give everyone a mention because they're buying into the buying into what the buying into what I want to do, um, and 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 what, and, and what Chris set up before us. Do you know what I mean? And you know, as I say, TK's a massive fell for me as well. And Again, he, he was outstanding. He was outstanding today. So yeah, as, as I say, you know, end product that that's down to what we've been doing on a training ground. Now. When Hugo missed that first half chance, <laughs> did you think, oh god, it's another one of them days again? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, as a manager, you try and contain yourself, don't you? But it was just like, it, it, just a feel. If that's like, if that's against us, another, t- you know, if they have had that, they'd have scored that, and that's nothing down to Hugo. Because he he's normally finishes them in training, and, and you know, and, and he knows he, he knows you could tell the frustration at half time. You know, they, they had to be pulled apart at half time because they were at each other's throat, which is good to see really because the fight's still there. And I just told Manny Mister, I just thought, here we go again. <laughs> um, can it? Can I ever have it easy? <clears throat> their manager described us as aggressive in his pre-match um, his pre-match preview. Sorry, what was that? Their manager described us as aggressive in our pre in his pre-match um, uh, focus. Do you reckon we were aggressive today? <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think we were. I, th- I think we should. It's, in terms of aggression, we showed fight. We showed fight. You know, the lads showed that they want to battle for each other. They showed that they want to battle for the fans, and they showed that they wanted to defend the, the, you know, their own, their own, their own pitch. And, um, <clears throat> and, and and in terms of aggression, yeah, I thought, yeah, I was, I was, I was quite happy with how they, how they were challenging each other on the pitch as well. Obviously, now it's uh, a short break before the the Christmas run. The, well, we hope so, don't we? With what's going on? And yeah, all of that course. Kind of yeah, stuff. we don't know what's going to happen next, but. Um, that that one that, that that win today should give you just that little crumb of comfort, uh, crumb of comfort and, a bit, and a bit more confidence too. Yeah, it's <clears throat> yeah, it's us, but you know you can't rest on that. You're only as good as your last game, aren't you? So now we have to go into training, and I think it's Trafford next, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's, Trafford's are no mugs. You know, Trafford's have done really well. Um, you know, by all accounts, they like to get a turn and play, and so it's another challenge for us. But we have to be ready. And we have to do, if we keep doing what we're doing, it will it will come together. Yeah, I thought it'd be, I've said it many a time, I thought the transition f- for myself going into the management w- would be easier than what it was, but it hasn't. <clears throat> and I found that out. So now we just go back to Tuesday, st- stick to doing what we're doing, and we work again on how we want to set up. You're coming towards the end of the first half of the season. <laughs> have you enjoyed it? Mm-hmm. It's had its up and downs, I'd say. <clears throat> Honestly, since Pickering was... When we lost against Pickering, that was that was an, you know yourself. I speak to it a few times, and I spoke to that was the all that I've never been lower as a football manager, and I really did feel, um, I really did, I really did feel like you know, oh my God, what what am I doing here? But then, when, when there's nowhere when there's nowhere else to go, you have to just you know you have to look forward and start taking steps forward, which is what I've done really. So it's been a good learning curve for me. Um, and I enjoy winning football. It's never nice when you lose a game of football, but I have enjoyed the winning side of it. Uh, I've enjoyed the, you know, you know, get, getting the lads to buy into what what we're doing, buying into what the Rami lads are all about. You know, we've got some. You've got like seven local lads from Rami's bottom now, in and around it, and that's not including Will Orley. We've lost, you know, Regan Jarrett out on loan as well to give him a mention. But yeah, I'm, you know, and I, I'm, I'm loving doing it. And you know, I'm loving doing 
you know, managing this club for the fans and, I'm, and, and the chairman, do you know what I mean? And, and most of all, the lads as well, do you know what I mean? Because we're in it together at the end of the day. Well, one nil today, you can go and enjoy yourself this evening. Oh yeah, I'll be enjoying it. <laughs> I will absolutely be celebrating this, like, because again, it was hard fought and that's work, what we've been doing over the last three weeks. And when you get rewarded like that, you have to go and celebrate. Plus it's our team myself as well, so yeah. Um, um, one final thing, as it's the last game before Christmas, yeah. have you got a, a message for the supporters? Yeah, there? just listen, hope everyone's well and safe and you know, regardless of what's going on, you know, sometimes football's your outlet, but whether you're feeling happy, sad or low, you know, always just be willing to, <clears throat> if you're feeling low, don't be scared <laughs> to speak to anyone or want to speak to anyone's advice, but you know, the, the Rams bottom fans, I can't thank you enough, you're stuck by me in, in, in real bad times in terms of results and and you know some not so much performances but in terms of results and you know hopefully i can i can re repay your faith in the new year and uh, just everyone just have a happy christmas and you know congratulations to all merry christmas to you mate as well and thank you very much oh, indeed. Nice one, Cheers, mate. i appreciate that